guys, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are doing fabulous on this sensational Sunday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and light to you, and many blessings. And thank you for coming to my channel and see what I'm about. And if you be so kind, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are returning sub, as always, love and light and namaste to you and many blessings. And thank you for the support as always. Today my video is about Blu-ray, the new earth, the sequence numbers. Tonight, well today, I'm listening to my dad's song. Starfish and coffee, made for surf and jam. I love that song. I remember when I met uh, Brown Marks. I asked him, I love that song, but I thought it was about drug paraphernalia. I really did, because he said first in line was Kelly, then it was Lucy, or Lucy, Kelly, then it was him, and then the fourth in line was uh, uh, Cynthia Rose, and our favorite number was 20. I'm like, okay, 420, and he was like, no, sweetie, <laughs> that's not what that's about, and then he paused for a minute, and I'm like, what is it, and he was just like, it's about a gifted girl that has a thing with numbers and then he was like oh i was like oh then i walked off because <laughs> he was like oh, okay this this situation is just getting more crazier and crazier because he was like a special gifted girl that loves numbers and if you guys have watched my videos before you will know i do a lot of number sequences and i remember when i was reading up on it about the number 13 and i was talking about mary magdalene about her coming down to earth or giving the, new, the lost knowledge that the earth wasn't ready for May 13th, 1917. And this went on for six months into November 13th, 1917. And it was always like it had something to do with the 12s and stuff like that. And excuse me, I had to stop. just went off so quick because this song was so short. But, yes, and then when I start listening to them, it's like they, they have the sacred 20, 44, they have 13, 333, and all these things, it's just like, I don't know if you guys look at these numbers, it's like the new world order, it's kind of, that's what they call it, it's like the new earth order, let me, let me retort, new earth order, or, 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 or. <laughs> trying to say too much at one time, and but basically, it's like, I'm reading on it as I'm talking to you guys, because this, I found this very interesting. It's like, when I find these clips and stuff like that, and I know that they resonate with me, because it's like, every time I see these numbers, like 13, you know, we, we kind of shy away from number 13, but actually it has a lot more to do with it other than that look. I don't know how it got that way, when we start talking about, you know, you know, Friday the 13th, and unlucky number 13, and stuff like that. But it's like, 1333 is like a rep of the new uh, Earth Golden Age with Gaia and Shekinah and Sophia. And it has something to do with the Fatima children and stuff like that. So it's just like, um, down at the bottom, go ahead and put this link down because this is like, it's so exciting. So if I'm not making any kind of sense, it's like when I said that, it's like 333 when I said that. So every time I see these numbers, I get a chill. And it's like within that instant download of your, your, you know, your family history and everything that you've ever written. And I guess that's the reason why I can see me and my dad in different, different stages of our life when we were like brother and sister, we were husband and wife, we were, you know, uh, you know, like I said, brother and sister, and, and it was just crazy. It just really was crazy. So, um, it is just knowing all these different things and knowing I'm able to share it with you guys, I love to do it. Because it, it just educates me as I'm helping educate you and hopefully you'll find some more stuff that might resonate with you on when you see these numbers that they're basically that's just the universe trying to communicate with you. And a lot of us do not recognize that stuff and when you, it's just like when I see this uh, 13, 333, and I see it a lot of times, or like 1, 13, even though my dad's birthday, uh, between the birthday and, um, his date and the number ends up being 13, and he talks about the number a lot, um, 
it was just basically linking on to it because I, I know it's like he always used to tell me when I was little, just look for these certain things, and I guess he knew stuff before I really did. He was putting two and two together after our first conversation because it's like when we first met, well, actually, well, not when we first met, when we first talked on the phone when I was five years old. Um, I know I had this overwhelming feeling when I knew him, even though he was known as Uncle Roger, a family friend that worked close with Prince. Um, I never knew him because I was just like, okay, why is this guy calling me? Why, you know, if he's a family friend, it's kind of creepy, you know? He made me feel important, but it made me feel kind of creeped out a little bit. Like, why would this man want to talk to me? Why is he urged to talk to me so that? And then when we talked, he always used to tell me look for the rose petals or the rose, the red or uh, roses or red flowers and it was just like him telling me I love you and hi and I never really knew what he was talking about but I guess when I told him that even though I don't remember him I said I tried to remember his face but his voice brought tears to my eyes and I'm trying not to cry about it now guys because that was just a good feeling just to know that happiness and sadness and excitement and everything just rushed all at me one time. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I don't know who you are, but I remember who you are. I just can't picture your face. And he's like, well, baby, <laughs> you haven't, you know, I haven't seen him. Well, he hasn't been connected with me since I was first born. He hasn't seen me since I was, you know, my mom delivered me in the sports field. So I don't know how I was able to remember that, but I guess I was so traumatized by that situation because I always remember that situation when hearing him scream. What, so it's just like certain videos that he has this high pitched scream. It it just it, it gives me a complex because it takes me back to that time where uh, um where social services had took me when at my birth. So it's just a lot of things that I'm starting to remember, and there's things that I didn't know. There was no way of me remembering, but I guess my dad, like he always, you know, basically told me a certain song like I was that special child that knew things you know the indigos or whatever going through that because I remember um, talking to him with his album all the time and I can hear him talking to me in my head like you know my mom and he think something's wrong with this baby he just keeps talking to this album and I would never you know never go anywhere without that album he had to give me another one because I had food kicked all up on it that's how crazy it was as soon as I said that, my phone fell down, so obviously it must be true. But guys, I'm not gonna hold you up. I'm gonna go ahead and do a thank you shout out video to my new extended family from uh, Love One Another on Facebook. They really made me feel welcome yesterday and brought tears to my eyes. I was crying after I made this last video after I sent it to Anthony. Um, he had loved it. So, um, and I'm just glad that people were able to resonate with things that I said, and I really do appreciate that. So, I will talk to you guys later. Peace. And you are, oh, yes, and please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification button. Please. <laughs> and even if you feel free, drop a comment if you want. And I will talk to you later. And peace, love, and many blessings to you. And I hope you have a successful Sunday. Much love. Bye. It's a bad jam. Butterscotch clouds and tangerine. Side order of ham. If you set your mind free, baby. Maybe you'll understand and comprehend. Make the serpent jam.